nothing. He'd heard voices that said he wanted to join ISIS and that he should join ISIS. The FBI turned him over to the police. The police turned him over to health care. He had four days in a facility and he got his gun back. What do you see when you see these fact patterns play out? You see this man. You see his affectation in the video. Let me begin by saying I don't think this was strictly PTSD. I start with that because it's unfair to all of the veterans that suffer from PTSD. PTSD itself does not cause this kind of psychotic thinking nor this kind of senseless violence. Now, what was it? We don't know. Was it a psychotic disorder? Was it substance abuse? Was it something else? We don't know, but obviously, Ashley, he dropped through the cracks. He dropped through the cracks, but he self-presented twice. I think this is why I am so frustrated. It's hard enough to catch the people who hide and want to do